everyone, Cordell here with 911 Rapid Response. Today I'll be showing off a 2016 Ford F550 we recently completed for Elizabeth Town Fire Police. We're going to be demonstrating a lot of the features we built into this vehicle, um, and I think you're going to think it's rather unique. On the front of the vehicle here, we have Phoenix Apollo F6 lighting in a red and white configuration. These lights are unique in the fact that they have two modes to them. And on our slide switch in positions one and two, we actually have these lights flashing in only red. In position three, they will automatically start flashing red-white. The reason we do this at 911 Rapid Response is if the operator of the vehicle is in a foggy condition, he can back that slide switch down to position two and not have that white light reflecting off the fog bouncing back at him. On the side of the vehicle, we also have Phoenix Apollo F6 lighting in a red and white configuration. However, the first mode to these lights, we have in positions one, two, and three of the slide switch only flashing red, which is going to enable us to use a clear steady burn white feature with the takedown, I'm sorry, with the alley lights in the light bar for a low level perimeter lighting when they're operating exterior of the vehicle. You'll also notice we have the Whalen Pioneer series on a pole mount, and what that pole mount allows is to have the light vertically raised and you can also turn it left and right for scene lighting. On the side of the vehicle, we have M6 series lighting from Whalen in red for side warning. And as we also look at the side of the vehicle here, it gives you a chance to notice the wonderful job Market Graphics did, which is our in-house graphics department, with decaling this entire vehicle. All of the installations our graphics department does is all one piece vinyl. So you will not run into any issues with peeling as you start washing this vehicle over the years. We also laminate our, all of our vinyl to allow it to last longer and resist fading from the sun. Next we're going to show you inside this compartment where we've installed the inverter for the truck and then also all of our wiring for the emergency systems is going to be concealed behind this panel so it's nice and neat and out of the way for the consumer. Starting with the rear of the vehicle, we're going to start low and work high with the additions we've added on. We've installed this step here to allow easier entry and exit of the vehicle because as you can see, the factory bumper is rather high for getting in and out. You also notice on the back here, we've installed chevrons, all one piece, printed on reflective material. So it is red and yellow, but it is still actually reflective through the color. For lighting, we've installed Whalen M6 lighting in red amber. So you have that synced back and forth with each side. As we continue up, you'll also notice we've installed the customer's track con unit to the roof. In this rear compartment, you'll see we've actually installed a refrigeration system for the customer. And what is unique about this install is the vehicle is equipped with a cruise mall auto eject system. So when they're in the station, they can actually plug a shoreline into the vehicle, which will power this fridge and other accessories they have on the vehicle. When the vehicle is started, that plug is automatically ejected and an onboard inverter actually picks up where that left off. So the fridge never turns off, nor does the other auxiliary accessories they have running off of that. Now inside the vehicle, I'm going to show you some of the features we have accessorizing the console. We're going to start up front with the inverter control system, which mostly handles itself, does not require driver input. It's just there to display battery levels. Moving back, we have the customer's radio installed, and we've hooked up a magnetic mic holder to the radio, allowing ease of use, so the driver can keep focused on the road and not worrying about clipping a mic into a, a holder. Continuing back, we have the Trafcon control unit situated nicely in the console, and behind that, we have a Phoenix 4200 smart control system which is allowing us to do a lot of the functionality that you've seen on this vehicle. We've also installed 12 volt accessory outlets for the driver and officer to charge accessories they may have. And behind that you'll notice a 13 inch accessory pocket which is ideal for housing map books or other paperwork that they may have to keep track of while operating this vehicle. This was Cordell with 911 Rapid Response and we thank you for taking the time to view our video. And please, if you have any questions about 911 Rapid Response, uh, about purchasing a new vehicle, upfitting an existing vehicle, please feel free to check out our website, 911rapidresponse.com, or stop into our showroom located on site, and we'd be happy to talk with you.